G'day folks, this morning I'm at Lake Buffalo and I'm not fishing off the bank as it may appear. I'm with my dad and we're going out in the boat to chase some redfin. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now while dad's up there just getting a few things organised, I've decided to come and make a couple of casts. But check out the lake. It's risen 20% since I was here only about a week ago or a bit over a week ago. I walked right out there to the island and I walked around and fished the other side. That's all underwater now. Look at all the debris all around the boat ramp. There's debris and logs everywhere. I don't know whether that's going to fire the fish up or shut them down. But anyway, I'll have a couple of casts, move a bit of debris off the boat ramp, then uh, head out in the boat and away we go. I'm starting off with the Domeki Disco that came in a tackle club box a couple of years ago. I love this little lure, it's caught so many redfin and even a couple of yellow belly. This could go either way. <laughs> we could catch we could catch heaps or none. Yeah, definitely. Just had me first touch. That was definitely a strike. Got him. He came back. He's not very big, but I'm on. He's only a small little redfin. Are you out of gear? Yep. Tiny fish. But I've got to catch it. We've got to be on the board. <laughs> We're on the board. <laughs> Look at the tiny little redfin. Look at the size of it. Oh well. You know what? That's just a mini big one. A miniature big redfin. We'll put it back and then this time in a couple of years it'll be a big redfin. But that's a good sign. We've been really worried that the fish won't bite because of all the fresh water. We didn't know whether it might shut them down or not. Well that's a sign that we might get a couple if we just persevere. I definitely just had a touch there then. Willie follow it. We'll call the fish Willie. Willie come back. I've just changed lures. I'm going to give this gold lure a go. Change the colour. That's a Savage Gear 38 mil. It's very similar in size to the Domeki. Well it is exactly the same size as the Domeki Disco. That's a 38 as well. But whether it swims as well and attracts as many fish is yet to be seen. Should hit record because I picked up a fish along here before, didn't I? I'll hit record because I picked up a fish along here before. I picked up the fish along here before. So they confirmed he was on the plane. Got him. It's a better one. Ah, oh, still not very big, I don't think. Yeah, might be a keeper. I don't know, it's hard to say. I've got a fair bit of line out. I'm not going to make any calls because I'll embarrass myself. So the little, what did I say it was? Savage Gear, little Savage Garden 38 mil. It's certainly bigger than the last one. Yeah, hang on to him. Hang on to him? Yeah. Alright. It's a bloody keeper, alright. Someone told me that I should get that made merch made with that on it. Right, we've got a keeper. Not much of a keeper, but it's a keeper. I'm gonna fill it off him. Oh, chuck him back. Be chuck him back. Yeah, chuck him back. We haven't got a keeper anymore. See you later, mate. We've got to see you later, mater. <laughs> I'm on fire. Folks, I've hooked onto a nice fish and I missed the hookup. We've just stopped and I've just cast the soft plastic out and let it sink. And I've hooked up straight away, and look at that. There, yeah, Dad. Is that one a keeper? That's a bloody keeper. We've, it's a bloody keeper, all right. I just said to Dad, we're going over there, and I said, can we stop here? I caught a few fish here last week. And he didn't even turn the motor off. I said, are you going to have a cast? And he said, oh, I'll see how you go first. And bang, very first cast, and I've got a bloody keeper. You ripper. This is all I've done to get that fish. I can't cast it now because we're right on top of where... I'll just lower it straight down. I cast it out, 
probably only four or five metres from the boat. I let it sink all the way to the bottom in 25 feet of water, Dad says. And then I just slowly started retrieving, and bang, there was a fish on it. So now what I'm going to do is just bob it up and down near the bottom there. So exactly all I done last. Got him. Exactly all I done last week. This one's not. Well, he's got a bit of size. But he might be another keeper. I think. Not as big as that one. Oh no. Unless you want to fill it, do you? Yeah, I've got one on my too. You gonna fill that? Yeah. All right. We've got another keeper. Just. This is wee business. <laughs> wee. <laughs> There's no eye in team. I love these. This is the Strike Tiger three-inch minnow. I use it a lot in my redfin adventures, and that's why. The reason for that is sitting on the floor of the boat. Got him. Well, this is a better one. I don't even know if this is a fish. No, I think I've got a snag. It's just coming up straight to the left. <laughs> The best. It's maybe not quite a better one. This is right where I was standing last week. I've got plenty of stuff here if you want to borrow one of these. See that? Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Told you this was the spot. See you later, mate. Don't normally fish here in the summer, but it uh, seems to be a good spot in the winter. Well, we've finished casting plastics for a little while and we're going back to trolling. That? Is that floating or stationary? I think it's floating, but it, but it would. Some yellow tailed black cockatoos, beautiful birds. We both double, double hook at the. Mine might not be a bad fish actually. Mine, I don't know if I've hooked you or what's going on. It's got a bit of weight here. I don't know whether we're tangled or whether I've just got a decent. I think I've got a decent fish. I have too, look at the size of that. Do you want to use a land on it or should I risk it? <laughs> if you, oh, did yours get off, did it? Woohoo! I'll just hold it up there so that the hook doesn't hit the net and get tangled. There we go. Tahi Ripper! Yeah! That's what we came for. The sun's getting closer. We're going to have a bit of sunshine shortly. A couple of nice redfin. Living the dream. Dad's hooked up and I missed everything because I was busy changing camera batteries. <laughs> You're on the board. Yeah, <laughs> You got him. I was going to say, Rod's got a bit of a bend in it there. This is a better, better fish actually. This is a much better red fin. Oh yeah, lovely fish. Need a hand with the net or you're right. I'm going to deal with him for you. Yeah, still, it's a nice fish. Oh, you, you've already dealt with him. I ought to deal with myself instead. <laughs> That's all happening. Then we're starting to find a few bigger fish. Starting to see some blue sky at last. Yeah, and we're starting to see some blue sky. Sun's coming out. 
I wonder if we get a... Got him. Keep trolling, he's not a monster. Leave you a little room. There's definitely a patch out there, isn't there? Starting to wonder if we get a drought this year like they've been talking about for a long time, if next winter will fish as well as this winter. That's only eight feet there now. Yeah, really, wow. Oh. Oh, double hook up. It's only a little one too. Geez, they're a funny fish redfin, aren't they? No two lakes are the same. Some lakes fish better in spring, some fish better in winter, some fish better in autumn. Got him. Is that all? Mightn't be a bad fish this one. Not as big as the last one, but... Nah, not as big as I first thought. Big enough if you want it, but... We're past the stage of keeping mediocre. Right. We're only keeping good fish now. Only that estuary, anyway. Mediocre fish, gone. Johnny, what's a good fish? Oh, dad's onto a good fish. You might have a cod. Oh, oh, get me line out of the road. It's a cod, isn't it? Ready. You right, you on the net? Yes, Absolutely, I do. What a lovely fish. Yeah! Uh, about the same as the others. No, it's about the same as that big one I got, I think. I'll get a photo of you with it. Really exactly. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, buddy, you know, up with a good feed here. Eh? Quality feed of redfin. I've trawled along here. I haven't just put me line in the water. They wouldn't have even got, got dived all the way to the bottom. <laughs> oh. How good's that? That wouldn't have even made it to the bottom. Dad just put the cast his line out, put the boat in the gear and said, got him. Unbelievable. High speed trolling for redfin. Got him. Nice fish too. Yeah. Not a bad fish this one. Oh, it's not a big one. It's you got him in your. You got him. You hooked him while we were out. You're out of gear when you put the motor out of gear. I don't do you want him or not. It's a nice fish. All right, thank you. Got him. Told ya. Bit of weight in this fish. Oh shit, yeah. He might be alright, this fish, I think. I'm still in gear. Uh, there's a bit of weight in him, though. You, you might need the net for this one, I reckon. I might have been because you were in gear that he felt heavier, but he's a nice fish. Look at him. He's not a bad fish. He's not a monster, but he's. I'll just lift him up. He'll be alright. There we are. Look at that. <laughs> It's a bloody keeper, right? <laughs> Against the yellow. Awesome. Yeah, I've lost a lot of lures on snags through here. Oh, I don't want to lose this one. It's his favourite. It is now. <laughs> don't love me hand warmer. I've had me bloody... Oh, been... mum reckons it's a bloody beauty. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. I've been putting it from left hand to left pocket to right pocket. Hold the rod with my left hand, put that in my pocket with my right hand. 
Got him. I told you we'd get one along here. It's not very big, I slave it in gear. It's the sort of fish I'd be excited about if you hadn't already had so much success. Hello mate. Thank you for coming along. Peace be with you. I like that view. Now we've had bugger all rolling, right? That was a touch. Got him. Oh, good fish too. Got one, have you? Yeah. Am I filming? I was filming, so there's a cut in that bit of scenery, in that scene. Doesn't feel as big now when you first hit it, felt, have you? Might go a bit in tropo when we get in close to the boat. Tell you what, it's certainly not a tiddler. Look at that. Yeah. That's a lovely redfin. A lovely knittable tar. There we go. Beautiful. Still here. With you. you beauty. Right. That is a ripper. Quantity over quality. Was well, it quality over quantity? I should say. Yeah, it is now. That's, that's got him. Not a bad. Another nice one too. Well, this has got a bit of weight in this fish. What's that? It might not be as big as I first thought because he's not fighting, but he's. Well, he's not as big as I first thought. Actually, don't worry about the net. Look at that, it's still a nice fish though. <laughs> Having a dream run. He's got that hook right down in his gills, you know. I'll have to kill it before I can get the lure out. Bada bum, bum, bum. Another one for the pile. <laughs> I haven't even gutted that other redfin yet, but we can see a little minnow here and a little yabby. Time. Good one. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it might have been. I could hear the drag turning and it sounded pretty tight. Ripper! <laughs> Dead! How deep is it? Oh, I dropped mine. Got him. Yeah, they're still here then. <laughs> the super spot. <laughs> right off the back of Marshall's Ridge Bait Ramp. Mine's smaller than yours.
Yeah, little weenie one. Yeah, keep my it's not big. Might be the last one you see today. Got him. He's a nice one too. This is a nice one. This is a bloody keeper. He's not a monster, but he's... It's alright, I'll just lift him out. He's not a monster, but he's a nice fish. Just, uh, just the icing on the cake, isn't it? First decent size one for a while, they've slowed right down, and that's okay, we've got a good feed. Beauty. Look at that, 11 of the best. There was a dozen, but I threw one away. He's a bit smaller than that, so I've, uh, he's out there waiting for a sea eagle to come and eat. 11 lovely redfin, the biggest being probably 37, 38 centimetres. We've had an absolute blast. I've got some gutting to do and some filleting later on, both of us. Folks, I'm going to put links to everything that I can find online that I've used in the video description below, so you can check that out if you want to know what I was using. And we've had a great day. Thank you all very much for watching.